Hi and hello, let's play fans, it's your old pal Berg787, back with a brand new episode of Sid My Civilization V, Brave New World, and it's our playthrough on Deity, Deity indeed, our first one with Babylon. So, um, we have a few border tensions going on from the last episode, obviously with Morocco uh, here, you know, with our friends, quote unquote, but we are building a bit of an army to try and fend them off, and we lost a troop here and a worker because of some really stupid me being a bit dumb to these city states but we pieced out of those wars everything seems to be moving okay we are going to start building public schools very quickly we've already got one up and running uh, in babylon on the way and uh, we're going to do the same in akkad and in city number three and uh, i think that's good so we'll just go to continue next turn new research agreement industrialization could be quite handy obviously we can build factories hopefully we've got some coal that'd be quite nice Rusty coal would be really cool. We can build some, uh, you know, obviously uh, get boost to our production. Factories are all bit, but really good. But I'm um, just a little bit concerned. I'm a little bit concerned. There's there's mistakes that I've made that I wish I hadn't, that I could have done slightly differently. Has that arsehole just put... I've just realised he's blocked me off here with his little bit of territory. That's rather annoying. Oh, but cool, we've got another great scientist. That makes me feel a lot better. You just jump back into here. You can go on alert. You, uh, I can't pronounce that, but him. You discover technology. Excellent. So industrialization has been discovered. We do have some coal. It's just out of our borders, but that's fine. Wow, we got a load of money. I don't remember where we got that money, but we're going to build a tile over there. So that gives us another factory, and it will give us some coal. Where? Yeah, you. Head that way. Get there fast. Is that the only coal that we have, though? I think it is. Okay, well, better than nothing. How much coal is actually situated on that tile? Seven! Okay, well, that's like plenty of coal. That's good. Choose production. So our barracks is finished. Oh, yes, public school is what we need. Needing, needing public school. Um, we need that, actually, that mine up and running. <laughs> That'd be really handy. Uh, what could we... Start, well, in two turns, uh, when it goes up, we'll, we'll start working that mine. But for now, the city's always had a little bit of an issue with, with production. Population, like food-wise, it's always been pretty good. But, but the production, you see, that's been the issue. But that'll be fine. We'll, we'll go and work that over there. Research. As for research, hmm, it wouldn't be a bad idea actually going through this area over here because we can upgrade some of our troops if it does come to a, you know, a straight-up cockfight. You know, we want to have some troops that can do some damage, so I think metallurgy is going to be the next step. I'll hit the continue button. Brandenburg Gate has been built in a far, far away land. Might as well be a galaxy. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I, th at some stage, I'm going to have to amass an army and go and kick some ass. Because I don't see me gaining in any other way. But, you know, this is what first-time playthroughs on Deity are all about. Learning, seeing how, you know, the game progresses. Because, uh, you know, I thought the start wasn't too... I'd made a couple of mistakes early doors, like building that academy on a hill. I should have built it on grassland and stuff like that. But, you know, again, the important thing is you make mistakes, that's fine. But remember those mistakes and then don't repeat them, <laughs> pretty much. So you go on alert, you've got there, that's fine. Uh, our caravan... Yeah, see, now we're only getting uh, much less science than what we were before, so that obviously means that we are catching up. So much so that I actually am not going to send my troop, uh, my caravan to Mansoor, especially if he decides to declare war on me. I'm going to send it the other way. I'm going to send it to London. There we go. Head off to London. Choose production. So our castle here has been built, uh, which means, oh, public 17 bloody turns. I do want to get that built. But maybe building a... You know what? Oh, that's a thousand fucking gold as well. That's really expensive. Um, production here is a bit of a bit of a bit of a problem. I don't really have any hills as well, which is... Which is a bother. Well, I suppose I've got that tile there to to kick into gear. But what tile... Well, for the time being, we've got to come off that and go there. Didn't really knock off a lot, though. Only two turns. I suppose I've got that tile there where I could build a mine. But what would I stop working? Hmm. I've got this mine as well over here that I'm not even working. Um, yeah, but what do I stop? Oh no, take one out of workshop. There we go. You head into that. How does that... That's not really done much better. But 13 turns, I suppose, is better than what it was. And we will do that. And we'll see where we go. I don't think there's any other way I can get more production. I suppose I could, could stop... 
but then where am I going to put it in? I could lower. Don't know. I'm going to leave it as it is now, and then we'll, we'll worry about that later. First influential culture. Morocco is the first civilization to achieve a culture that is influential with another player. Okay. Who are they influential with? Is it me? <laughs> uh, how do I check that? Uh, influence by player? that be it? Is this with me? I, I'm presuming it is. Yeah, it must be with me. Okay. Well, good for them. Good for them indeed. Yeah. Why do you? Why are you even contemplating going to war with me? Considering like you're just selling all your jeans and shit like that to me. Rick, I think it's him who I'm gonna have to go to war with. You know. So who's he all good friends with? He's allied with. He's friends with Spain, Polynesia. Okay. Spain and Polynesia is a. Well, Spain's a bit of an issue. Polynesia's too far away, I think, to be necessarily an issue, but I think I am gonna have to do something about Mansur. He's the second best as well. Maybe I can maybe I can convince Isabella to go to war with him. And then I'll go to war with him as well. Yeah, we'll have to consider that. I'll, I'll I'm gonna go and speak to her just to see if she would uh, consider it. And we're neutral now, we're not even like buddy buddy, and she's friends with Morocco, so I probably need to wait for that to to stop being the case. Yep, go and build that. Uh, we can adopt a policy, which is nice. Uh, great scientists are even quicker. That's pretty good. Yeah, we will, we will, we will get that. We already get a bonus as our uh, as a as a country as a as a civilization. We get a bonus to great scientists. So we're going to get an even bigger one now. Akkad. Yes, there we go. Hit that. Ten turns. Now um, we'll get it. Maybe even a bit quicker when our worker gets over there. Next turn. Our spies inform that Isabella is plotting against me. Okay, well that's nice of you to tell me. You know what, why don't me and you go to war against her? Morocco has adopted freedom. Mm. You know, I could have adopted an ideology there, couldn't I? Well, I suppose I would have still preferred to go into rationalism. Mansur, what would it take for you to go and fight Isabella? I'll have to find out. Hmm. Who'd have thought that Genghis might become my best friend? He's still at war with Egypt. It's a long war. All right, we're gonna uh, we're gonna play the uh, politic game in a second. All right, you trade. I don't care what you have to say there. Uh, declare war on Isabella. Would you consider doing that? Oh, you would. What's this? I would have to vote for standing army tax. I'd have to keep my borders open. World, uh, uh, give you iron. Okay, I'll vote for that. I don't really care about that. I don't really want to give you open borders, but I'll give you iron. What about if I just gave you? What about if I just gave you? Uh, let's say four hundred gold. Well, not not four thousand gold, but if I just gave you that. There we go. Good. So you're going to go to war there. Fantastic. Now, my next little plan. You. What about? What about? Hey, how about this for an idea? What have I asked him to do? Make peace. Wait a second. That would make sense. Ooh. Uh, declare war. What about if you declared war on Mansur? What do you want for that? Is that it? Yeah, all right. Go on. There we go. Sneaky. So you fight them, you fight them, and I just sit back and go. <laughs> That's a cackle for those of you who weren't aware. That was really cheap. All I had to do is give him gems and some money. I mean, all right, my happiness has taken a bit of a hit, but I'll survive. That's good. Instigating wars. Love it. In the meantime, just a shame I don't actually have any, like, my troop size isn't big enough to be able to sort of capitalise on this. But, the fact that they're, the three of them are all in a war should slow them all down, I would imagine. Because they've got to, like, you know, fight. And they're all within distance to actually be involved in a, in a fight. You know, they're not like, it's not just asking someone on one end of the map to declare a war and someone on the other end of the map. So, you know, it should actually affect them. Which is good. That's exactly the point. Uh, so you've built that there, that's good. Is it something that we can work, though? Is it something that's worthwhile working? 
Mm. Well, yeah, I mean, in comparison to that, it is worthwhile working. So if we go there, uh, it gives us a bit more food. Okay, I suppose that's worth it. Uh, our declaration of friendship, who is this with? With Polynesia. I don't even know if I want to declare friendship with Polynesia again. I suppose I should. Discuss. Hello. Yeah, good times. Uh, and what unit needs. Oh yeah, excellent, go on. Oh, wow, 3 plus production, that's mega good. I wish we had more bloody coal on this map. Well, in our borders anyway, that would be really good. But we don't, so... What's the point crying about it? Um... Why don't you do something here? Oh yeah, hello, I forgot about you. Come down here. Uh, and next turn. No, no, I, I just don't think that's going to work. <laughs> Fight each other. Fight each other. Oh, on your jackals. Yeah, you'll pay for this. You'll pay for this long beard. Public declaration from Poland. I haven't heard anything from them in ages. Yeah, Genghis. I would have never guessed that me and Genghis, Genghis would be such an amenable fella. Especially to war. I mean, it's not like him to want to go to war. Especially not for 60 gold and some, you know, shiny pieces of, me of rock. Yeah, who would have thought? Good times. I have to ask him to go to more wars. And it was me thinking that I was going to have loads of issues with you and you've just been quiet. You've just been sitting there. I even forget that you're there. Good, metallurgy. You know what? We should probably upgrade some of these troops. Uh, upgrade. Uh, what else have we got? Yeah, you can upgrade. And you can upgrade. Not even that expensive. Okay, all good. Choose research. Now, what do we do? What do we do? Rifling would actually be kind of handy. But you know what would be more handy? Revealing aluminium on the map. And probably getting oil as well. So maybe we'll go archaeology first. Maybe. We'll show us where oil is. Um, rifling would get us the steam power. This dynamite. This dynamite. -he. But. Plastics is kind of where we want to go. Um, Alright, yeah, archaeology is it's probably the most helpful. Uh, what are we going to do with you here? Just chop the forest down. Chop it down. That does help us, actually, because it will increase our speed of production there. So, yeah, go and chop the forest down. Why not? And you just go and stand next to them. You're perpetually just stuck. I might just get rid of you. Yeah, I know you've noticed. You've got good. You've got keen eyesight, man, sir. It's not true what they say about you being blind as a bat. What do you care? We're not friends. You're too poor to be a friend of mine. You have no use to me. The only reason why I become friends with people is so... That I could get research agreements with them, and if you've not got enough money, then what, what good are you? I tell you what, what's going on? What do you mean you have concerns about my warmongery? What warmongery? I've never declared a war openly myself. Might have to have a little word with you. What about Poland? What's going on with you? You've got some concerns about my warmongery as well, but you're pretty poor. Uh, I recommend that you not get too close to Polynesia. You know what, England? You know what? You might be right. Maybe me and you should be all good friends. Yeah, we're sorry this caused the divide. And you're kind of friendly with me as well. You know, I might just, uh, I might just declare friendship with you if you'll accept it. You got money. And you might have my back in a scuff as well. Let's go and speak to, uh, is, uh, to Elizabeth. Elizabeth! Go ahead. No, it's not trade. Discuss. Go ahead. No, okay. Well then, fuck off. Uh, open borders of Isabella has ended. Good. What else was going on from that? Cotton to Isabella has ended and the money she was giving me. Alright, okay, so I've got cotton to trade. Who wants cotton? I would actually like to trade it for a luxury resource. Now, citrus is kind of off the map, but dyes and wine. Who's got dyes? Who's got wine? You want cotton? But you don't have dyes or wine. Not in quantities that I could get anyway. Neither do you. Uh, I mean, you do, but you won't probably trade it to me. You could probably get your cotton. Why does no one have more than one piece of stupid... Uh, you don't have any... Polynesia, what have you got? Truffles. I don't want your smelly truffles. This is truffling. Isabella, what have you got? You've got all, you've all got rubbish! No one's got anything good! 
Screw you all. Um, I've got to trade it with someone though, don't I? Uh, who do I give this cotton to? Who should I give it to? Oh, you got loads of money, so maybe you're giving me cotton. Maybe would you just give me a straight up deal for cotton? Come on, we're good friends, man. Four hundred and eight. All right, okay, that's fine. I'll live with it. It was a steep price to pay. But why am I earning no money? Have all my like uh, trade routes stopped all of a sudden? I don't understand why I'm making zero money all of a sudden. Oh, you're just annoying me. Get lost. Be gone. Um, oh, we can upgrade you as well, but we don't have the cash. Why am I making such little money? I have no idea. Did like the standing army tax come in or something like that? Like, how do I how do I make so little cash? Am I being stupid and I've just not noticed? I was making like tons of money and then all of a sudden gone, gone. We're really poor, bankrupt. Oh well. And you know what happened? Maybe people who I was who were trading with me have stopped trading with me or something like that. Hmm. I don't know. But that's rather alarming to be making so little money at this stage of the game. Akkad loves the king. Yeah, Akkad. See, I brought you... What was it? I brought you dyes, wasn't it? Yeah. Good Akkad. Good Akkad. Loyal city of Akkad. That public school's going to be done pretty soon. Oh, and it's almost done over here. Fantastic. Yeah, I wonder what the hell happened. Why all that money just disappeared. Oh, well. That's a problem for another time to discuss. If someone noticed, please let me know. Spain denounced England. Okay. That's interesting. Darius entered the modern era. Good for Darius. I share you. Yeah, I know. I know Egypt is a problem. It's that long... It's that weird beard that he has. I don't particularly like it. How can you like a man who has that kind of beard? I mean, grow a real beard, for God's sake. Oh, that rusty coal. Wish I had that coal. Wish it was mine. I'd go like Scrooge McDuck, you know, in his money bin. Except it would be full of coal. And I'd come out looking like I'd gone blackface or something like that. Need a shower really quickly, probably. But I'd build one right next to it because I'd have so much coal. So much money from that coal. Um, you've been promoted. Excellent. What did we get here? Darius is plotting against Isabella. Shall I share it with her? Might as well. Go on, there you go. Oh, we can steal technology. Fantastic. What should we steal? Electricity. Stealing electricity. That costs a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah, electricity is definitely what we want. Yeah, boom. There we go. Electricity. The secret of electricity is mine. And we've got some aluminium as well in our borders. Excellent. Where is it? Oh, cool. Shame it's on desert. I mean, good if it had been like on a desert hill. That would have been nice. But, you know, aluminium. That's good. Can't complain. Choose production. Public school has been built. Yes. Yes! Uh, windmills. Windmill. Windmills are actually good because that 10% production boost to building buildings. Building buildings? You know what I mean. Um, the stock exchange. I need. Fuck, how am I so fucking poor? Why am I so poor? Am I giving like loads? I'm giving 71 gold to another. Seven, oh, you know what it is? Now I've just realised. I thought that he wanted like. Ah, uh, you know what I did? I think it must have been, I, I, I assume that it was like 40, let's say, for example. I thought it was like 40 gold straight up, not 40 per turn. Oh, dearie me, people have just been laughing at me for the last, like, however long that's been, going, well, you dumb dumb. All right, I've realised what I did. i realised what I did. I hold my hands up. Yes. Okay. Okay. It was a mistake. I thought he wanted whatever it was, 60 gold or... I think it was 60 gold, yeah. I thought he wanted 60 gold. I didn't realise he wanted 60 gold per turn. Yes. Okay. I'm an idiot. If you've watched all of the episodes up to now, you've probably realised that already. So it's not news to you. But anyway, okay. At least I know that. At least I know what happened. You know, I could accept that. Um, do I want to build the ironworks? Um, I know. I probably want to build more caravans, to be honest. They only take two turns. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll build some caravans. That'll get us out of this mess. How long is that deal lasting for as well? He's going to have so much money. Yeah, dearie me. Yeah, how long does that deal last? Uh, where do I find that out? Is it in the... 
no wait isn't there something here it's like deal history or something like that or is that in diplomacy yeah it is in diplomacy alright deal history how long does that deal last uh, where is that deal no that's 60 gold per turn who did I offer like mega bucks to did I offer mega bucks to I don't understand why I'm giving away so much oh right here it is here it is I'm giving Mansur 92 gold per turn. <laughs> 92 gold per turn. Wow. <laughs> that was a great move, that. A great move. Um, well, we should be good friends for life. I mean, he can build like a gold city or something like that. He can build El Dorado himself. Um, how long does this last for? When does this expire? Does it does it tell me du deal duration thirty turns? So it ends on uh, this is it ends on turn two sixty. Oh for fuck's sake! I've got like oh my god, so long. If I was to declare war on him, would it end that? I think it would. Oh man. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. I can't wait for this episode to go live and people see it. Um, what are you doing here? Why? Are you, oh, you just chopped down that forest. That's what you were doing. Um, you know what else you could do? Go over here and chop down that forest or that jungle. <laughs> and you have the cheek to offer me that shod deal. No, I want seven gold per turn, you fucking vulture. You know what it was? It was like one of those deals, one of those like cheap peace deals that someone offers you on um that someone offers you on um on uh, on EU four where you they they've disguised it so that you think that you're getting that. But actually, it's like they, they've offered you it, but they are accepting. They're expecting you to like. You think they've offered that they're conceding this, but actually, it's you're giving that to them, and you're like, yeah, yeah, I'll accept that because I've won this war, and oh no, I've just given up like uh, half my kingdom. So <laughs> that's kind of what he did. I mean, I still shouldn't have failed him for it, but you know, hey ho, what can you do? Uh, choose research. At least our research is coming along really well. Uh, biology. Don't know much of biology. Uh, there's no point doing that, rifling, because I can't upgrade my men. I've got their money. Uh, biology, it will be. It will be biology. Uh, okay, public schools are almost done, though. Uh, I, I, no, I don't. No, I'm sorry. We're okay. You're about as poor as I am. Although, no, you're not. You, you're getting some money now. Khmer Mare has built Broadway. Khmer Mare is basically winning this game. Except an embassy. Alright, yeah, why not? can do that. Yeah, why not? Why does everyone want embassies again? It's like, yeah, have an embassy. Giving them away. Oh, I'm so disappointed in myself. <laughs> so much money. So much money. Just, poof. It would have been more fun if I just set fire to it. Oh, hello, Kabul. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you're hostile. Chop that down. Uh, good. Okay, so we've hooked up that. Yeah, that's good. That's really good, that tile, in all fairness. And you go over here. We'll hook that up. Yes, we've got that caravan now. <laughs> we need to send it. Send it! Uh, to Canterbury Tales. Is that where should we send it to? No, we're going to send it to Saleh. I don't think Morocco are going to be declaring war on me anytime soon, considering they've... Well... <laughs> They can't declare war on me anytime soon. They'd be giving up, what was it, like 90 odd gold per turn if they declared war on me. So, yeah, I don't think that's happening. Oh, we've got another caravan. Okay, this will help us out a little bit. Where are we going to send this caravan to? Casablanca? Yeah, go on, go to Casablanca. There we go. We've got 14 gold per turn. We're rolling in the money now. Uh, so that caravan's finished. Should we build another caravan? Or should we just build the stock exchange? That's probably a better move is it the best move i think it could be no windmill windmill that's what we need we need a windmill and um i think i'm gonna go and cry i <laughs> cut this episode off uh, i'm gonna go and bang my head against the wall and come back next episode and pretend it never happened i think that's probably the best way to deal with it i hope you enjoyed it hope you enjoyed my big mistakes and you know laughing you, you should have got a good laugh out of it so i expect a like at least please um yeah we'll see you next time folks see you next time